my page. Today is July 24th and it's Sunday. And I'm getting this video out kind of late because I had to work today. So, um, this is split up into um, two different cards. So, I won't go into detail on each thing because some of them are the same deals. And um, this was multiple transactions in two different stores. And I'll explain the difference in the, um, the two CVS stores that I went to. So, starting with my first card, I did split this up into four transactions. So... <clears throat> Starting with the first one, I had did the um, Our Spring Soft Soap deal where you buy two products, two of the Our Spring or Soft Soap. Um, they're supposed to be the um, same, they're the same deal. So you do either one of these. Um, you buy two at $7 each, I mean $7 for two of them, and you get back a $2 extra buck. So I did the soft soap, um, body wash, the hand wash, and then two of the hour springs. The reason why is because I had a $4, uh, $4 off when you spend $14 on body wash. And then I also had a $10, um, well, when you spend $10, you get a $3 off on body wash. You are able to use um, two coupons just like that, or, you know, depending on how, how much you're spending. So the reason why I was able to use two of those CVS coupons is because my total came up to $14 for just this. So um, I gave them the $4 off of um, $14 worth of body wash first. So it took off the $4, which would bring down to subtotal of $10. And then I had that $3 off of $10. So I was able to use two of those coupons, you know, both of those coupons. So I did this. Um... And it works out to be one dollar and seventy five cents altogether, or forty three cents if you had those same coupons that I have. Um, because I also had the one dollar off, and all these coupons for this one is from the smart stores um, from today. So I had a dollar off for each of these for the hour spring. I had the seventy five cent off of the body wash, and then a fifty cent off of the hand um, lotion. I mean, hot hand soap. So I used those along with getting back the $2 extra buck. And then the CVS coupon, it was $4 off of spend 14. And then another CVS coupon, it was um, $3 off of spend 10. Um, and those both was the body wash coupons. So I used those as well. So that's what made it average out to be 43 cents per item. And the same trans transaction I did to um, Crest in the Colgate. Um, you know, the Colgate is free when you get the... Um, everybody should get the CVS coupon that prints out at the red box for $2 off the Colgate. And this is the 500 milliliter um, uh, size. And we got the $2 off smart source coupon for Colgate as well that you're able to use that. So that's $4 off and they're on sale for $4. So that made that completely free. No extra bucks or anything. You could just walk in have your coupons and get it for free. Of course, you have to pay tax for the for this one. And then for the um, Crest, I had a $1 off printable coupon, not printable coupon, a $1 off CVS coupon on any mouthwash. So I used it towards the Crest. And then I also had a $0.75 cent off printable coupon that I printed off weeks ago from CVS.com. Um, if you don't have that, then I think there is a $0.50 cent off coupon for the um, scope that you could do. It's Cresco. Either one is still, um, they had two different ones. They had the Cresco and then they had the regular Crest. I mean, the regular Scope, I'm sorry, that you could get with this deal. So these were, um, this one was actually $4.99 for the larger one. Um, it works out to be free for this one because I had that $1 off coupon um, from the CVS. And then I had the, um, and then you get a $4 extra buck when you buy one. And this is a limit of to um that you do this so i did it again on the next transaction so that made this completely free out the extra bucks and then the cvs um i mean then the coupon that i had from cvs and then i had a 75 cent off um coupon so actually it was a 75 cent money maker because i had that cvs coupon so here is my receipt here for everything and then these are the coupons that I used. And I did start off with $7 and extra bucks for this, for this deal. 
and then um, my subtotal was zero, and I paid 91 cents for tax out of pocket. So, I mean, it's not that bad a deal. If you don't have the um any extra bucks and stuff, of course, of course it would be $7 and some change, but I did get back um $2 from the soap, and then I got back $4 from the crest, so I got $6 back in extra bucks, and I spent $7 in extra bucks um, in this transaction. So over to the next deal. Did the same thing with the crest. This time I did the smaller one because the smaller ones are three dollars and seventy nine cents. I didn't have any other coupons with this, but um, being that you get the four dollars back in extra bucks, it ended up being a twenty one cent, um, twenty one cent money maker anyway, even without any extra bucks. So still get this even if you don't have the coupons. But like I said, there's there should be coupons on coupons.com for like fifty cents off that you could use for this deal. And then the Gatorade are two for two and you get back a $2 extra buck, so that makes the greater rate completely free. And here is my receipt for that. And I use a $4 extra buck, and then I use a, um, it was a $2 extra buck, but of course my um, total didn't reach that, so the extra buck that I had, it, um, I lost 21 cents, which I was fine with. And my subtotal was zero because this is food. I mean, I'm sorry, not what I was talking about. Anyways, my sales total was zero, and then the tax that I paid for this was um, 41 cents. And then I got back six, yeah, six dollars in extra bucks. It was four from the crest, and then two dollars from the getter rate, which I rolled over to do the um, the lotion, the Jergens. So the Jergens is six dollars, and let me show you this six dollars and 99 cents. I had a one dollar off coupon from um i don't know which one but it was a smart source that i got this out of and then i had a um when you spend five dollars on lotion you get a one dollar off which it only took 99 cents off which is fine and then i had my extra bucks um four dollars extra bucks and then one dollar extra buck the one dollar one was from last week that i had that on and i just saved my um I ended up using the four dollars from the crest, and then I used the one dollar extra buck that I had from last week, and then I just saved my two dollar um extra buck that I had from the Gatorade to pay for the next transaction. So my subtotal was zero, and I paid forty two cents out of pocket. And then on my last transaction, I did the speed stick. So the speed stick, these are two for seven. And I did the um, wipes as a filler item. So for this um for this coupon, it was buy one get one free, and it, the coupon is up to um four dollars and twenty six twenty nine cents depending on your store. Some stores might take up to the value of the coupon, or they might do the sales price of the item. So it just depends on the store. This particular store took the full amount of the um coupon of four dollars and twenty nine cents, and then I used my three dollar extra buck that I had and that oh um by the way the um forgot to tell you the Jergens lotion um when you buy one you get a three dollar extra buck on that and um it worked out to be because it was six ninety nine which is about seven dollars and I had used a dollar C V S coupon and a dollar manufacturer coupon it brought it down to five dollars and then it, um, they gave me back a three dollar extra buck, so it works out to be um, two dollars for the Jergens, which is great for that. And so for my last transaction on this card, I did the um, like I said, the speed stick, and then I used the um, three dollar extra buck from the Jergens to pay for this. So it brought my subtotal to ninety eight cents, and then I paid one dollar and fifty six cents out of pocket. So I got back. The two dollar extra buck from the um speed stick, and then I had my I still got my other um extra buck from what is this from the Gatorade from um the last transaction. So next week I'll have the four dollar extra buck, and I'm not sure, but I want to say the um Jergens might be on like the Beauty Club deal. So I only had like five dollars left that I had to um that I have to get to get that deal. So we'll see what happened next week. 
Um, and then I, plus I got the soap and stuff. So I think something's going to trigger it. But anyways, so over to my second card. Um, same deal. The only difference is for this, um, I had a, um, uh, this is on my second card. I had a spin, yeah, spend eight dollars on deodorant and get two dollars off. So I end up doing that. Plus I had that coupon, buy one, get one free. This particular store, um, only took off three dollars and fifty cents. It didn't take off the full amount of the coupon. So on this one, it works out to be for the deodorant. Let's see, thirty-five, no, thirty-three cents each, which is still a great deal. The other ones was thirty-five cents each. So um, each one ended up being thirty-three cents each once the average out. The Colgate was free like the last one. Um, Gatorade was still free. And let me show you the first transaction for my um the deodorant and then the Colgate um that I had did. So this is my manufacturer coupon here, the three dollars and fifty cent off. So that's what I was saying. Like the um speed stick for this particular store only took off three dollars and fifty cents. So just be aware that some stores um take off the full amount and some just do the sales price. So I wasn't sure what it's gonna do, but um I mean I was surprised about the last one, so that was a good nice little surprise for me so all these deals are pretty much the same the only difference is i did the puffs on this deal um when you buy three of the puffs or you can mix match it with the dawn if you do the three puffs they're um they're three dollars three for three so when you buy three of them you get back a dollar um extra buck and you can mix match it with the dawn the only difference is is the puffs you have a 50 cent off coupon that was in the last pg and then the Dawn, I had a $0.25 cent off coupon that printed at the CVS Redbox today. So um, I needed some Dawn anyway, so it was a little bit more that I had to spend. But it, it worked out fine because I had the um, my extra books that I was using. Anyway, so on this one, here we go here. So you can see here, they're three for three. And then I had the $0.50 cent off coupons. And... Hmm. I just realized that maybe I didn't give him the other coupon. I'm not sure what happened there. But, um, it don't matter anyway. I mean, it, anyways, the reason why I'm looking at this is because I had the 50 cent off puff coupons and then I was supposed to have a 25 cent off Dawn coupon. And then I knew I was going to lose like, you know, 20 cent, 25 cents from my, um, my extra bucks that I was using to pay for this, but I wasn't worried about it. Um, but, that that coupon ended up not going through and it's probably because it was already at um a subtotal of zero so i'm not really worried about it it is what it is so my subtotal came up to 21 cents for that i mean my tax came up to 21 cents and i got that one dollar extra buck back from the puffs and this is what i spent on it i did i just got some sunflower seeds so they were a dollar spend a dollar this one actually didn't have any tax on so that was nice and this is my Gatorade coupon, just for the Gatorade, how I did that. And I just paid tax on that. And that is it. So let's see what I spent today. So on the first card, I ended up spending $1.89 out of my pocket. And I got back $2 in extra bucks. If you do this same deal, like... If you have the same exact coupons, even the um, CVS coupons and personalized coupons, and you did this deal, but you didn't have the extra bucks to start off with, you would spend $8.89 out of pocket, get back that $2 extra buck from the speed stick from the last transaction, and then um, it would work out to be like you're paying $6.89, which is $0.53 cents per item. Um, but since I had my extra bucks and everything, it worked out be worked out to be 14 cents per item that I spent today. And then on this um, second transaction, I didn't start off with any extra bucks or anything. So you could do this same deal without starting off with any extra bucks at all. Um, but if you had the same same um, coupons, it will work out to be four dollars and eight cents that you spent out of pocket. And then um, that would work out to be 45 cents per item. 
So, yep, that was my holiday, which is pretty good. Um, Not complaining. We'll see you what next week brings. Hopefully something good. And, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Or if you just want to say um, hi, <laughs> leave a comment below. And thanks again. Thumbs up if you like. Bye.